Hi, this is Mike. Uh, in the last installment, I showed you how to create a test in Blackboard. And now I'd like to show you how to add questions uh, right on Blackboard's uh, interface to that test. So if you don't recognize what you're seeing here um, on this page, if you don't know how I got here, you might want to go ahead and take a look at the first um, video tutorial on creating a test. And I'll be working from the test manager in that test that I've created. So um, I'm in that test that I just created and I'm in the test canvas right here. And I'll see that I can add and the drop down menu is going to offer me a calculated formula as the first option. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the arrow here and I'm going to get a whole bunch of other options. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a multiple choice option and I'm going to say go. Alright, so now in my uh, question page I'm going to go ahead and start filling out my information. So my question text Um, when was the Revolutionary War? Well, let's specify the American Revolutionary War. And I've got a point value here. The default point value is 10 points. If you need to change that, uh, you should um, pay attention to how many points each of the questions is worth. And you can choose to make it extra credit or not. Generally, people just leave that um, check mark. Uh, blank and then you've got some options here um, you can have answer numbering either none Arabic numerals Roman numerals uppercase or lowercase I'm gonna go ahead and choose uppercase letters for answer numbering and it'll bring me back to the top unfortunately and then answer orientation I'm gonna choose vertical um, allow partial credit I'll say no um, and show answers in random order. I'm going to say yes, show answers in random order. That way I don't have to change around where I put the correct answer. I can always have the correct answer uh, be the first answer. Um, now, each of your questions is going to look a little bit different um, depending on the type of question that you pick. So this is specifically what the interface looks like for a multiple choice question, which is one of the most popular um, question types. So anyway, the number of answers by default is four, but you can make that um, anything you want above four and I can choose nine or ten in this case I only want three answers and I'll show you how to do that as well so the correct answer if you notice is marked as answer A right here and I'm gonna put down what I think is the correct answer and now I've got some other choices I can put in a couple of other numbers for answer B and C. And now I've got this answer D here, but I don't want an answer D, so what do I do with that? Well, I'm going to just sort of scroll over so you can see what the side, of the right hand side looks like. Pardon my awkward mo movement here, but you'll see that there is a remove option here, right? at the side of answer D and I'm going to hit remove and let me scroll back so you can see everything again and now you'll notice here's my question text my answers answer A, answer B, answer C and there's no answer D um, I can use feedback if I'd like. That's the um, response if the student gets the answer right or wrong in this case, incorrect feedback or correct feedback. Um, I can use categories and keywords, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, it's a little more advanced than we need. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit. And that's it. I've added my first question. And if I'm done with the test, if it's a very short test, I can just go ahead and hit OK, and I'm all done.